Whenever adding and subtracting fractions, the cardinal rule is your pieces must be the same size. So that means your denominators must be the same before you can either add or take away from. And the reason that is, is because if you have a mixed number like 3 and 2 sevenths, this represents 2 out of 7 pieces, and 4 and 8 21st, this is 8 out of 21 pieces. These are not the same size. So if you're trying to add this chunk into one of these slots, it's, it's too big, it doesn't fit. Or if you're trying to add a couple of these pieces and trying to fit them in here, it doesn't fit because they're different sizes. So you have to start with making equivalent fractions. You find the lowest common denominator. The first number, your two denominators can both become. So it's not a factor, a number that goes into creating a seven or creating a 21, but it's the number they both can be at the same time. So you have to look at your multiples. What are numbers created by seven? So I usually like to start with my smallest number and find its multiples and then look at the bigger number and see if I can find a commonality between those two. So seven times one, seven. Seven times two, 14. Seven times three, 21. Well, look at that. 21 is going to be the first number seven and 21 both become. So this denominator is already the right size. I need to cut these pieces into smaller pieces to make them fit over here. So I need two sevenths to turn into something over 21. Well, seven times what makes 21? Three. So I have to multiply the top by that to keep my proportions the same. So now I have six out of 21 pieces. So if I have three and six 21sts plus four and eight 21sts, I can now add them because my pieces are the same size. And when you add mixed numbers, it's best to start with your fractions. Six 21sts plus eight 21sts. Six plus eight is 14 over 21. Well, if I look at that, 14 over 21 actually ends up reducing. I can reduce that. Seven is a factor I can take out of both of those to shrink it down to two thirds. Okay. Then I can look at my whole numbers. Three plus four is what? It's seven. So the solution to this mixed number addition problem is seven and two thirds. So start with creating equivalent fractions or creating uh, fractions with like denominators so that then you can work with the numerators and then add your whole numbers together and get a final solution. The common denominator component applies to subtraction as well. But what if you have a subtraction problem and you already have a common denominator, but the first fraction is smaller than the second? You have to borrow. How are you going to do that? Because if I have 1 eighth, I can't take 5 out of 1. This 1 needs to get bigger. So I look to the whole number. I need to borrow one of those whole numbers and add it to my fraction. So when I take one whole number away from the 5, that leaves me with a 4. And then I'm going to add that 1 to the, to the 1 eighth that I have. So if I go 1 eighth. All right, well, I can't work, again, I need to take this whole number and break it into pieces so that I have something to take parts out of. So I convert my mixed number into an improper fraction. Eight times one is eight plus one is nine. So I have four and nine eighths. Now I have a fraction big enough that I can take five eighths from it. So three and five eighths. So then again, we start with the fractions before we then work on the whole numbers. So if I have 9 eighths minus 5 eighths, well, 9 minus 5 is 4. So I have 4 out of 8 pieces remaining. And when dealing with fractions, you always reduce. 4 and 8 have a common factor of 4, which means I can divide 4 out of them. 4 out of 8 is 1 half. And then my whole number is 3, or 4 minus 3, 
I have one hole left. So one and one half is my final answer. So start with your fractions, borrow a whole number to add it to your fraction to bulk it up. Then you can subtract out of it and then make sure when you do that subtraction, you are reducing your final fraction. If you don't, you get the question wrong. Fractions are all about making the numbers as small as possible. It's much easier to work with one out of two pieces than four out of eight pieces.